Hey, where's your frisbee? <laughs> Get that cleaned up. starting out today with the worst project ever and that is the uh the chain with a drum again come here yes come here all right go get it go get, get it. it go get it oh get up there <laughs> maybe i won't have to carry you up the ladder this harvest season yeah. So the next project is uh, pulling the feeder house drum out and uh, redoing the floor in that thing. Uh, there's a hole already in it and uh, it has stuff packed in there from, I guess, Milo Harvest. So, uh, you know, we get to play with that. I don't know if y'all can see that in there. Probably not. That's what we're fixing. Before y'all take that apart, I want to see how much adjustment we got. You can get this back together without a half link. Very close. I think you can, can't you? Yeah, maybe.
so this piece right here is the original floor of the feeder house. This is actually a huge plate that we've already welded on um, because it's already rubbed a hole in the original plate. Same with this. This is a plate that we welded on and uh, our welds gave out. And uh, so it shoved the material up under here all the way up to here. So it's not like it was leaking grain, but our plate that we welded on the floor already is uh, coming up. So uh, we need to do a better job of, of welding this. We're gonna take this off, we're gonna grind all these welds off, take this front plate off, uh, put a new plate on it, and weld it. I think the birds are just so peaceful in the morning. So, kind of where we left off on this project, uh, we kind of just left everything on the ground um, and then kind of did our Easter thing yesterday. Um, but today is Monday, which is April 1st, and um, we have to get this feeder house chain up in here. And then I think Dad was talking about using these straps and uh, maybe the winch on the donkey to uh, get that up there. Okay, this is what we have going on. <laughs> Maybe I should put a warning that says do not try this at home. So we have the cable under that chain, going under here, over the sprocket, back over here, hooked into here. I don't know, just let it rip. gonna get these fixed. Well one or two things is gonna happen. It's either gonna jump off the sprocket or it'll fall right in one or the other. But if it jumps off the sprocket I guess we can just pull it back. Keep going? Okay whoa 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 uh, do you have a hammer? Maybe I can beat it down because it's up against the feed accelerator. Go for it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, hold on. Let me, sh let me scoot it over a little bit. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, wait, hold on. Now, I mean, it's on the sprocket, but now this rope is pulling it up and I don't know. I mean, before long, once it goes the full circle here, I think it'll this thing will become straight again. All right. So if it'll 
just not jump a tooth on the sprocket, I think we'll be fine. Other than getting it on the sprocket, uh, that was pretty easy. Well, there you go. If you want to know if you can put a feeder house chain in with a winch, you can. I think I'm going to send you and Mom over to Coleman and get what parts is there. But I don't know, I'm probably going to get nothing to put nothing together with. I think Cody and Dad are going to finish the feeder house. And then Mom and I are going to Coleman, Texas and uh, going to pick up all the parts that Dad ordered. Watch, to get all the parts, uh, we have to go hook on to a trailer, and uh, I'm gonna pull that to Coleman because we're gonna be picking up the top sieve for Mom's combine, and then Dad said there's kind of a box that could be a medium-sized box, or a crate, I should say. I think it's a crate, and uh, I'm gonna have to strap that down on the trailer too. So I'm gonna pick up Mom and uh, go hook onto that trailer, um, and then we're going to be headed to Coleman. What is that? Um, we got to take it back to the UPS store. Dad ordered, he keeps ordering stuff, but he hits like, he hits it like two or three times. He keeps getting like way more than what he ordered. So he ended up with three of something, whatever he got to. <laughs> to wash the combine with. He's like, oh, Ron, they sent me three. And then he looks and it says, well, obviously, he clicked it three times. Does he not notice the price is up three times? <laughs> no dibs. He's keeping an eye on mom while she's in the UPS store. <laughs> that thing's pretty sweet. <laughs> you drill it? Yeah. filters Plastic. well dad and cody got this roller put back together while we were gone that's nice he also got my theater house chain put back together that's also nice so we got tons of air filters for both combines and tractors so uh i think we're gonna go change all of these out before it rains because, uh, well, you don't want a paper filter to get wet, so. Grody. I think we, uh, we got the use out of that one. This one is your outside filter. That one goes right here. I gotta have the door shut. And this goes in here. Like so. Maybe. Come on. And there you go.
So brass is softer than iron, so it'd bend the punch rather than the... Yep. You can dry that in there with brass, keep from ruining anything. See just how soft it is. Oh. Hammer that down a little bit. Make sure it was in there. If you spin it around, it'll swirl up in there. See what I mean? You know, it's not seated. Mm. Okay, go see where these holes are. Or you can look at look, the Go see comment. where these machined holes are. Go if it's smooth, other. that'll be the outside. If it's got these machined holes, this'll be out. On mom's combine, the holes are to the inside. Rub your fingers. Yep, see the holes are to the combine. And then the non holes are to the outside. Oh. <coughs> that was my finger. I think the belt that uh, runs the real pump that I was talking about, I think that'll be here tomorrow. So we can't really finish this, but uh, at least that's put on. The thunderstorms are building off to the northwest. That's not good. It is extremely humid outside, which is kind of scary because there's a thunderstorm coming with possible three inch hail um, and tornadoes. So, you know, that's always fun. But uh, we're gonna get this trailer unhooked and then um, I'm probably gonna park my pickup under the shop because I really don't want three inch hail balls um, just smacking it. So um, we're gonna unload this wood that mom sieve came in and uh, kind of get vehicles under the barn, I guess. What do you think of the weed? It's pretty. <laughs> Man, that stuff is tall. If you pull it, it's about mid thigh high. It's crazy. Well, we have all of mom's rotor elements and tines right here. Um, and then we also have chopper knives um, and mom's top sieve right here. Although I think um, next video from the start, which would be tomorrow for me, but it might be a couple of days for y'all. Um, I think me and Cody tomorrow morning are going to put on mom's chopper knives 
I don't remember if I said in this video or last video, but um, mom's chopper knives are wore out on both sides, so we have to put a new set on. I think we flipped the chopper knives over in Nebraska when we got rained out for like two, three weeks, something like that. Do you remember that? I remember that. Not a fun time. Um, but I think with all that rain, uh, we flipped her chopper knives over and they've lasted since Nebraska. So that tells you how good chopper knives are. Top sieve will go in next video. Um, let's see. Rotor elements and tines will also go in next video. Tomorrow, Stephen from United and Coleman said that um, all the belts should be here tomorrow. So hopefully next video we'll have all the belts put on uh, this combine and my combine. We got the draper belt, the center draper belt put back on, um, but we are missing a piece for the tensioner um, until we can put that back on. Um, other than changing the oil filter on this header and fixing the tensioner, I think this header will be ready to rock and roll for harvest 2024. My header, uh, all we need is those two bearings for that roller um, and then put this draper belt back on and uh, also this oil filter over here. Combine wise, uh, this one really doesn't need much. Uh, we need that belt um, and then this can be assembled back together. Um, I'm getting a stationary pre-cleaner for this combine. Uh, what's in it right now is uh, the adjustable one and uh, those things, we haven't had very good luck with them. Uh, the teeth in them fall out. So uh, I think dad wants to go to a stationary, which mom's combine has uh, a stationary pre-cleaner and uh, we think her stationary does a better job than uh, the adjustable one, but that's just, you know, our opinion. Um, so we're waiting on that. Uh, once we get that, we swapped over this wear plate on the Z-Bar, and uh, once we get that pre-cleaner put in, uh, we can put concaves in and Z-Bar. Um, I think in the bin, we have a wear piece that goes on the fountain tube up there that we have to put in. I think everything is fine over here. Oh. There is one cylinder that's leaking that um, controls my unload auger, like to engage it. This door doesn't want to come open. Um, I don't know if y'all can see or not, but do you see this goop right here on this cylinder? We're just gonna replace the entire cylinder and uh, just be done with it. Watch, uh, that should be a pretty easy fix. Uh, we already flipped knives over. Let's see. Oh, on mine and mom's combine. I don't know if we're doing both, but uh, I think we're gonna take a link out of each chain right here. Um, what's up in here? Uh, we still need to do the throw out bearing for this combine. Um, and then I'm also getting a new feeder house drive chain as well. That one's pretty wore out, so. I think, I think that just about covers it. I'm sure we're gonna tear into something and uh, you know, see something else that needs to be replaced. Also, both combines and tractor will all need hydraulic filters, fuel filters, and an oil change. Um, and then obviously everything gets a bath. Every year is different, and uh, this year is about one to two weeks early. So uh, I think we're projecting, you know, be cutting weeds either the 15th or 20th of April. So uh, today's the first, so that's about two weeks until we start, you know, full force into wheat harvest, which is kind of mind-boggling but yeah that's kind of my little end of the video update um, I'm gonna guess probably two or three more uh, I guess mechanicing videos um, and then I might have you know a wash and a, uh, a load video as well my phone says that it's about to start raining in like 15 minutes um, I guess let's see how bad it gets if they're calling for a three inch hail At least it sounds like pea size hail. At least it's not that three inch stuff that they were talking about. But it is absolutely flooding out there. 
That is crazy. Look, it's a little bitty baby rainbow. You can only see, you know, that much of it, but it's a rainbow. Well, we survived that thunderstorm. Uh, it did hail for a little bit, but I don't think it really did anything. But anyways, this would be day four um, on this video. I think day two and three were really short, so I just threw in a fourth day. Um, but we will pick up, you know, the rest of this in the next video. Thank y'all for watching, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.